Hey guys, this is Chandra, and I'm here for the hashtag Love Summer Art Folio that I am making. And you're going to need cardstock, a bone folder, paper trimmer, some kind of scoreboard, and some score tape or wet glue um, for this part, and maybe some scissors or a cutter. A blade, I mean. So this is what we're making. I don't have this decorated at all. There are four pockets right here on the front that open all on the top. When you open it up, there's a large pocket right here. Then you have the left side page, and this is the left side outside folio page, and there's a small pocket there. When you open that up, there are two pockets that open up on the side here. You flip that open, and there are two more pockets that open on the top. This page has flaps that open up so that you can decorate this like a scrapbook layout if you wanted to. And then here is the middle of the base folio page with just a large pocket here. Okay, so we're going to make that. And the first thing that we're going to do is make what I call the base folio. It's a sheet that measures 8 by 10 and two sheets that measure 8.5 by 10 and I do have my measurements on my blog so you're gonna stick the eight and a half inch side at the top so it goes you know eight and a half and so this is the 10 inch side okay so we're gonna score on the eight and a half inch side at half an inch and at one and a half we're gonna do that to both of those sheets that we cut so half an inch and one and a half now I'm going to do this step by step just so I don't lose myself because this is the third time I've tried to make the tutorial. And I keep on getting my sheets mixed up. Oh, it's ridiculous. So I'm going to fold and burnish my score marks on those two sheets. I'm going to apply score tape on this half inch flap why it's not folded. I'm going to do that to both sides. Now I'm going to miter my corners here. Just going to chop off at an angle on both of the sides. And I put my score tape down first because I want um, it to stick good. Okay. I'm going to set one of those there. And now I'm getting out my eight by ten sheet and all I'm going to do is place this eight by ten sheet on top of this other sheet here but I want to do it just right of that score mark I'm lining it up so that the top is even and the bottom is even I don't want to put it ex right on top of that score mark just next to it so it still opens take the second sheet and do the exact same thing I'm laying the eight and a half inch sheet on top of it, but I am going to flip it this way so that I can see better. Again, I'm lining it up so that it's flush with these sides here. Okay, And that is what I call the base folio. Now, if you want to reinforce your spines, you can put more cardstock there or you can put chipboard, but because I'm going to decorate it with cardstock, I'm going to put it on the front and the back. I think it will be okay. Now all I'm doing is closing it and just reburnishing it to make sure everything is straight. Okay? So, I'm going to do this left page first. And this is the outside of the left base folio page. So I'm going to bring back my scoreboard and I'm going to take my sheet and this one measures 4 by 11. I'm sticking it into the 11 inch side is at the top and I'm scoring at half an inch and 10 and a half. Then I'm going to rotate it. It doesn't matter which way, but you just want to rotate it and score half an inch on the four inch side. And this is what's going to create our pocket here. I'm going to fold and burnish and make sure that when I fold, it's lining up straight across the top and the bottom so that I don't have any issues when I attach this pocket being crooked. I always cut crooked or score crooked or something so it wouldn't surprise me. Now I'm going to apply my score tape. You can use wet glue or any kind of strong double-sided adhesive. You do not want to use ATG for this because it might not last. I do want a smaller pair of scissors for my miter in here. Here we go. 
So I'm just cutting up from the bottom up to the corner here to create a little V there. And I'm cutting that out to remove some bulk from the pocket. Now I'm going to fold my sides down, taking off my score tape. Let me zoom back out here. And I like to fold my sides down and my bottom up so that when I stick my tags in, they don't get stuck on the bottom. Not that they won't get stuck, sometimes they still do. I'm going to apply this to the folded edge here of my base page. Okay, and I'm lining it up with the side and the bottom. And I'm just going to burnish it, just to smash my tape in there. And so this is the first pocket here. Now I'm going to open it up and do this in cut here. Seven by 10. And I don't like the seven inch mark because it's like down in the crack. Seven by 10. Okay. I'm going to bring my scoreboard back up here. I'm going to stick it in. The seven inch side is at the top and I'm going to score at half an inch. Seven inches up there, half an inch. I'm going to fold on my score mark and I'm going to apply some adhesive. Since I'm attaching this paper this way, I'm going to apply my adhesive to the flap while it's not folded here. I'm going to cut off the corner so that when I mat it, it's uh, not easily seen. I'm just going to cut that off. And I'm going to just take the tape backing off. Let's get this into frame here. And I'm going to fold it. I'm going to line this folded edge up against this cut edge right here. Again, I'm working on the left side right now. Just lining that up making sure it's straight and I'm going to smash it down. This side has the two pockets that open up this way. We need just we need two sheets that measure seven by six. So I'm sticking the six inch side at the top and I'm going to score at half an inch. And then at five and a half, I'm going to rotate it once and score at half an inch. I'm going to do that to both sheets. Okay. Do every other pocket. I'm going to fold on my score marks, apply my adhesive, and cut out the square that is formed. Okay, now I'm going to take my tape backing off, stick my sides down, and then fold my bottom on top of that. So I'm sticking my sides down and I'm folding my bottom up. I'm going to remove the tape backing. If you have a little point here of paper, you can just chop it off. Just make sure you don't cut on your folded edge. Now this you can decide if you want your pages to open up this way or this way. I'm having them open up this way so that my tags, um, if something were to happen, they wouldn't fall out. Okay, so I'm lining that up there and I'm pressing down. Doing the exact same thing with the second pocket here. I'm going to line it up against fold here and also against the last pocket that I put down. Okay, so now we have the inside pocket here. So now we're on the left side 
of this flap here. Five and a half by seven and a half sheets. And you're going to need two of those. And you're going to stick it into the seven inch side, or seven and a half inch side is at the top. You're going to score it half an inch and at seven. And then you're going to rotate it so that the five and a half inch side is at the top. Whoa, and score it half an inch. I'm going to do that to both of these pieces here. So again, I'm going to fold, burnish, apply my tape, cut out the corners, and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to apply my pockets to the inside flap here. Sides down, holding it on top of the bottom. And I'm going to line this folded edge up here with the cut edge of the page. And the sides, I want to make sure that I'm not applying this pocket on the score mark or else it won't close correctly. Doing the same thing, I'm just butting the folded edge here against the top edge of that pocket. We're going to do this left page here, the inside of the left page, and you're going to need two sheets that measure seven by five and a half. So you're going to stick it into the five and a half inch side is at the top. And you're going to score it half an inch. I'm going to do that to both pieces. Again, the five and a half inch side at the top, score it half an inch. I don't know if I mentioned this, but um, if you just type in hashtag love summer art, you can change the date to today and you can see everybody else's videos that they are posting today. Um, and also it goes until the 20th. So don't forget to keep on checking back. I am cutting off the corners here on the flap. Take off my score tape. I'm lining this folded edge with the top of this edge here. Again, I don't want to be right on top of my score marks. And on this side, I'm lining up the folded edge with the bottom here. Middle one, we have a pocket. And trying to stay on top here. And this is a nine by five and a half. So we're going to stick the nine inch side at the top, score it half an inch, and then at eight and a half, rotate it and score it half an inch. Line it up on the bottom, centered in between the two score marks, and put my pocket down. Okay, so now we have the right inside, and that is a pocket that measures 11 by 6. Stick it in my scoreboards, 11 inch side is at the top, score it half an inch, and then at 10 and a half, rotate it and score it half an inch again.
Okay, I'm going to line this up um, right on the right side of the score mark here, the folded edge. Making sure it's flush along the side here. And now we're going to do the front of the left. And those are the four pockets that measure four and a half by five and a half. Stick it in so that the four and a half inch side is at the top. And you're going to score at, this is all four of them, okay? You're going to score at half an inch and then at four. Rotate it once and score at half an inch. Go through that again. On the four and a half inch side, meaning the four and a half inch side is at the top, score at half an inch and at four, rotate it, score at half. Off the tape backing, put my sides down, flip my bottom on top of that, and apply it to my page. I'm lining it up with the folded edge and the cut edge on the bottom. I'm going to line the second pocket up right next to the first pocket. going to line the top pocket up with the edge of the bottom pocket and the right side. I'm going to flip it over and cut off any excess, excess that I have um, hanging off the top of it here, which there always seems to be. I don't know why. It just is. Being careful not to cut into the fold here of this pocket here on the top. And that is the folio. So check out for the next video where I just do a sped up version of me decorating it. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.